What's up, guys? Tubes. You guys knew exactly what was ahead of you. You took it. You know, just what's this win mean for you? Uh, yeah, so credit to UNLV. Um, film tells you so much, but they are a legit team. They got playmakers all over the field, and it was, it was a tough task today. Um, I think both, both teams experience what they would classify as um, probably self-inflicted wounds, but at the, at the end of the day, it comes down to we're down by one. Offense goes and answers the bell and scores a touchdown for us, and defense gets off the field. And, and how about that eight-minute drive to close it out? So um, that was that was a special moment for this team that's going to tell a lot over the course of the season was that this last that last quarter of football. A couple, bi couple big plays there uh, in the first quarter that put them in on, inside the five- or ten-yard line. What did you guys have to do to respond after that? Um just the mentality of our defense coach D talks about it coach chins and and now the players of you can put the ball down fourth and one first and goal um, you can put it down in a parking lot it doesn't matter right we don't we this team does not want to be a team that's affected by momentum we create our own momentum and we're and we're we train to answer the bell in those adverse situations so yeah stepping up on that on that first series and holding just a field goal is huge and uh, throughout the game it's kind of weird stepping inside this place uh, today, Alexander. It's like the wave of emotions that happened 11 months ago just kind of hit. Yeah. Did, that, did that happen at all for you? And is it at all just uh, wild to think how far you guys have come in 11 months? Absolutely. Um, you know, I talked to the team a little bit. And this time last year, roughly this time we came to the stadium, the purpose this team had and what we were playing for, how much bigger it was than each individual person. And I just want to remind them that 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 we're still living that out. We live that out when we're training the off season, every time we take the field. And you know, I'm I, I believe God does things for specific reasons at specific times. I think this is one of them. Was a moment to realize that we're playing for something bigger than ourselves, and this team's on an absolute mission. Jeremiah heard you 11 months ago too. <laughs> you know, credit to JD. I think I think he already had his decision made. He just let me take a little bit of the thunder for that one. Alex, I know you kind of touched on it, but the six sacks, nine tackles for loss, that big pick there at the end of the first half. I mean, just when you guys needed it to make some plays, you did. I mean, just given them I mean, their top five scoring offense, everything that they had done coming in. I mean, just what kind of statement? How, how big overall the defensive effort you guys had tonight? I think I think today was just. You know, yeah, Drew's interception was absolutely huge for the whole team. I think that that third down, getting pressure on the quarterback, is just guys continuing to step up when we need them to. And there's plenty of stuff to clean up, and we're going to be better for it. But today was just a hard-fought win, and at the end of the day, a win's a win, right? But, yeah, it was incredibly encouraging to see guys step up in those critical situations. What kind of mission are you guys on game after game here just to keep this thing going? And, and, and you know, you have this, all this potential to make history and all this. I mean, what, how, how, you know, determined are you guys to, to make this, a, you know, the a historic, you know, season that's never happened here before? Yeah, so our, uh, I like to classify our missions by how we're going to get it done. And how we're going to get it done is every week we're going to win. We're going to win, we're going to learn, and then we're going to win again. And we're going to do that over the course of the season. And, you know, you can look at this big picture items of where we want to be at the end of the year, but that's how this job gets done. So that's where our focus is. How are we going to be better next week and how are we going to win? You've seen the secondary get a few sacks this season. Was that kind of, did you see that and say, I want to get one of those two, your first career one? Yeah, I got tossed out the freaking game last time and Shea comes in and gets two of them. I have none on the season. So yeah, I figured, you know, probably should try to get mine when I can. You know, just after, after getting kicked out last week, just how much did that motivate you for this game? Yeah, you know, it's it's frustrating. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I'm going to do to change the rules of college football today, so got to do what I can to play within them. Um, the most frustrating part of those situations is is I feel like I let my teammates down when I can't be on the field and play for them. And, then, you know, you can chalk it up to just playing hard, and, and I'm never going to stop playing hard, but... Yeah, it's it's extremely frustrating. I learned from them, but uh, this week, you know, lesson learned: stay on the field, finish the game, and uh, this was a special one. I, I think earlier in the week, uh, Spencer kind of classified this as as a uh, heavyweight fight. Is there any way that you can kind of sum up how physical that game was? And then, consistently across the board, man, I I know all of you guys play hard. You played all all played hard for years. 
but just consistently across the board, you see guys leaving the field, man. And it just feels like a lot of you are just finding a way to empty the tank. And yeah. uh, I, I just feel like consistently across the board, it just it, it's at a unique level right now. Yeah, there is absolutely no quit in this team. Um, this this is, and I've been around a lot of talented players. I've been here a long time now. And this team, the one thing that's different is talent aside, this team has absolutely no quit. Um, heavyweight fight, yeah. You know, th that team wanted this game more than any other one on their schedule. And we understood the fight we are getting into. And we knew we were going to get their absolute best. Um, at the end of the day, like I said, the way we, you know, wins, losses throughout the, throughout the game. But when it comes down to closing out the game, that those last three possessions show the mentality of this team. We were down one point in the, going in the fourth quarter. Our offense answered the bell. Our defense got a stop and then eight minute drive to close it. You can sum up the mentality of our team in that fourth quarter. Yeah, you guys blitz a lot anyway. Boxing Isaac was uh, a lot of blitzing. Um, was it a case of, you know, Williams, Hungering at Yards, but most of that was just him running for his life? Was that the plan basically? If they're going to beat you, it's going to be on his feet rather than throwing the ball. Yeah, pressure over coverage, baby. Um, yeah, it's, well, you know, I love chins. We're always going to be on the attack. We're not going to, you know, you see a lot of teams that want to do the exact opposite and drop eight. And, you know, truthfully, we got pass rushers that could, we could probably drop eight and we can still get pressure on the quarterback. That's how much belief I got in our guys. But we're always going to be on the attack. You know, it, it, it won't work out for us every single time. But the, the, there's something to be said about getting after a quarterback and putting the pressure on them to make quick decisions over the course of the game. And yeah, I, I love the way Chins calls plays and hope he continues to do it that way. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys.